Is Global Force Wrestling in hot water with the crash, Lucha? This is BQ, and I do this for the Global Force Wrestling fans. Well, how about instead of focusing on those yahoos, you focus yourself on Eli Drake? Now, take what I have to say right now with a grain of salt. Because this, of course, is reported by the Dirt Sheets. But the reason that I wanted to talk about it is because there's very much a possibility, in my opinion, that there could be some truth to this, especially in lieu of the leave of absence with Jeff Jarrett. Now, what I'm talking about right here isn't recent. Let me put that out there right now. This is some stuff that happened several months ago. And for this report to come out now, that's why I kind of question the Dirt Sheets' motives. But... It was talking about that there could be some issues with the crash and GFW. The first issue that happened was when Bobby Lashley was scheduled for a crash event. He was heavily promoted. They got all the papers in order to bring him over. And at the last minute, they replaced him with James Storm. Now, as awesome as James Storm is, if you're promoting Bobby Lashley and you swap him out or replace him with James Storm, I could see why the promotion would be very upset. And maybe even some of the fans were upset. Because Bobby Lashley is a big deal. Let's face it. I do remember this. And this was several months ago. And the re reason I remember it is because I saw James Storm promo that he cut. And uh, I believe he posted it on Twitter. I don't know where, where else it was. But he did cut a promo about being at the crash. But this was a while back. The other issue has to do with an angle where Rey Mysterio was working with the crash. And lost or beat Jeff Jarrett in a match where Jeff Jarrett had to lose his hair. They shot an angle for this match. And the next day with no warning out of the blue. Jeff Jarrett announces that Global Force Wrestling has reached a deal with triple a so again this is this is back this is back a couple months now and obviously jeff jarrett and conan have spoken since then and conan has made it pretty clear he understands business as business he is not going to do any work with triple a so this to me is kind of some you know dirt sheet fodder where they are uh they're reaching a little bit trying to bring some negativity over the, to the company I think it's something that we shouldn't worry about. But the reason I wanted to report it is because it's something to keep your eye on. It's very important that the relationship with the crash remains very strong because Conan plays an integral part in LAX. I don't believe that LAX was ever a part of the crash. I know um, a couple places have reported that they were, but I, I don't believe that's true. If you know the answer on that, please say something in the comments. I am not the, uh, the, the, the know-all of everything, so... Please let me know in the comments, but as far as I know, they were not a part of the crash. The only people involved with the crash that have been on impact is Laredo Kid and Garza Jr. There's been some talks, too, that Conan was looking to bring a new knockout over someone from the Lucha promotion. So I think that would be really cool, but there's, there's little involvement right now with the crash in GFW. I think that's where G, uh, DJZ had his injury at, but... It's very important they keep that strong because he plays a big role in LAX. And if he were to split, how would LAX move forward without him? Could they? Or would that be the end of LAX? Got to keep an eye on it. This is BQ. Please hit subscribe. We're talking Global Force Wrestling just about each and every day. Talk to you soon.